Now, after doing this question the long way around, I'm going to take this up uh, using Excel. Now, there's a couple ways that we could actually do this calculation, and um, there's a couple functions that we are going to take a look at. So, the first thing I'm going to do is put in our formula for calculating the probability of having zero fa uh, fails, or actually zero successes in this case, which means that all of our computer chips would pass. So we're going to have zero successes, which means that all of our um, computer chips are okay, which is kind of backwards. But because the probability of success means is 0 decimal zero 0.8, we're saying that that is the probability of um, success, even though it's really failing. So I'm going to put in here a formula. So we're going to go back to the, um, this will be 5 choose 0 for our, our combination. So it will be 5 choose 0. And then I'm going to, oops. Try that again, 5 choose 0. And I'm going to multiply that by, it'll be 0 decimal, 0 decimal 8, which is our probability of success, to the power of 0 times the probability of failure, which I'll put in brackets here, so it'll be 1 minus 0 decimal 8 to the power of, again, brackets, be uh, 5 for the number of trials minus the number of successes, which in this case would be 0. So we'll check out our um, solution, and it comes out to be 65 uh, 0 decimal 0.659. Okay, so in other words, if we just double check our work here because we know that 5 choose 0 is 1 and 0 decimal 8 to the power of 0 is also 1. So really what we're going to be doing is taking 0.92 to the power of 5. So we're just making sure our formula works here and our numbers match. So we got the correct formula here. So now the great thing about this is if I change this to 1, okay, get my next answer. If I change this to 2, 3, okay, etc. So we could do it that way. That's uh, one pos possible way of doing it. And we could actually just fill in the values here. Uh, there is a different, uh, there is a function that is available to us that we're, we can put in here, and you can do this a couple ways. So I'm going to insert a function, and we're going to use binomial dist, um, binom dist, which is our binomial distribution. So we're going to put in our number, which is going to be, in this case, C11. The trials will be D5, and I want to put a global reference there. Okay, and the probability of success is in cell D6. And again, I want to copy this down, so I want to put in the global reference. And cumulative, um, I'm going to put in false here. And I'm going to put in true in just a second to show you what that does. Okay, so press enter and okay, didn't look down. So so I've global referenced those two cells and You'll notice if I put in zero here, the number matches. Okay, so now I can just copy this down and 
there's our probability of one. And so if I put in one here, you'll see the two cells match. Okay, so that's one way of doing it. Um, I'm gonna copy this over and I'm gonna have to just C11 and and this time I'm going to put in here for cumulative I'm going to put in true and I'll copy that down so you can actually start to see what this does and you'll notice that this is going to give us, in any case where we're looking at um, the probability that we're going to have at least two failures or something like this, this will be a very useful function for you. So the cumulative is uh, just when you put in true, it will add up the probabilities of, for example, if uh, number of successes is one, then the cumulative will give you the probability of one success and the probability of zero success. So for expected value, all we're going to do here is put in a formula again, and we could do this a couple ways. One way, the easy way, is we know that the um, expected value is going to be 8% of 5, which is going to be 0 0.4. So, um, so 0 0.08 times 5 is 0 0.4. Uh, another way we could do this is multiply The um, success times the probability, the uh, value times the probability, so zero times um, the probability of zero. And you'll notice if I copy this formula down, we get this. And I'm going to then just add these. And you get an expected value of 0 0.4, which is what we, what we actually expected. Okay, so for doing a histogram now, all you have to do is I'm going to put in a scatter plot, and I find that I have more success when I do it that way, and then press to go to a histogram. And so then I can change my layout. So I can put in a tile. So number uh, probability of failures computer chip failure. type and the axis title here will be number of fails number of fails and here is probability or the percentage of failure. So here you can see the probability of having zero fails out of five is about 66%. And then down here, you can get on. It's hard to click on that. So the five is very low, obviously.